Welcome to this explainer video for the Listly Chrome extension. So here we are on YouTube. We've found a video we want to add to a new list. I'm going to click on Add to Listly. And you'll see it pulls in the image and the title and the URL and the copy describing the video. And then I just choose from this list. I start typing in. And you'll see it part matches. So I type in footy, funny videos worth sharing. Um, and that there's nothing that matches. So I could create make new just to show you that a bit more slowly. Um, you'll see it part matches up to fun. It's found two two matching lists. I don't want those. So yep, I'm going to make my own list. So I type in the title of the list that I want and click make new. That list is now created, and I can click save. And this video is being added to that list on Listly. Um, from this point, if I want to, I can click on this little icon and take me to the list on Listly or I can in this example I'm going to just jump to a second tab with a different video click add and this time it's remembered the list right so it's even quicker just click save and then just one more time just to show you how quick that is here's a third video uh, Eddie's odd video um, click save done and then I jump over to Listly so clicking on that button takes me to Listly I have the full list available now I can scroll up and down and I've got my playlist done so let's look at this second part of the uh, Chrome extension, which is how to curate items, uh, multiple items within a single post. So here I've uh, found a couple of blog posts on activities in Berlin, one in Timeout and one in The Guardian. And they're really a curated, already a curated list of, of activities to perform in Berlin. But I can then go, and go to that list and um, choose, just select items from there and create my own composite list of the best of the best of the best. And so all I do to do that is highlight the title, drag through and make sure I'm including the image uh, because it will extract that image. And if there's a link, it's going to pick out the last link. So there we go. Uh, right click, add to list, and you'll see it's pulled in that information exactly as you'd expect. It's not always as perfect as that. It just depends on the formatting and the layout of the blog and the way the HTML is set up. But that was a very simple, uh, perfect example. And it's remembered the list because I've already created that list. So uh, I scroll down and pick this next item, this uh, deserted funfair. And grab the title. Sometimes that's a bit fiddly. Uh, grab the title, drag down as far as you want to go, add to listly. And there you go. Both done, both set up, both extracted perfectly, and save. Those items are added to your list. You can you could go to that list straight away, but I'm going to just going to jump across to the um, uh, timeout post, and I'm going to just do exactly the same. Grab a couple of items from this list. Um, so I just highlight a section, right click, add to list. Lead. See this one because I highlighted an image didn't quite get that. The title wasn't right at the beginning. It wasn't probably tagged correctly. So I just need to do a little bit of manual editing. Uh, just to pull that out there and I think something quirky with the link as well so there we go all sorted and then I just scroll down to the second one I get the walk the Berlin Wall and I'm sure it's going to do exactly the same because it's when you tend to find a whole blog post is is either well formatted or badly formatted and you just you know it's going to be easy or difficult. And then we go just just cut and paste and drag things around. And there we go, it's done. So then you can click through and we can see now this whole list perfectly ready and formatted and re-embeddable, reusable from Listly uh, just as you'd expect.